So I went to an auction. Uh, it was about four hours long out in the country. Two racks of stuff, or two flat deck trailers of stuff, and some stuff in a shed. And that was about it. Um, I bought this particular piece uh, actually just at the tail end of the auction. I was waiting for a army helmet to come up and uh, this came up. That's an air filter. Nothing special, um, but it was $10. Never been used. Um, was going to use it in my suite. I decided against it and I was just going to resell it, but I'll make 90 bucks on that. So make a little bit of money just reselling modern stuff it's still cash and i also bought windows uh, some three pane windows and uh three four pane barn windows which do sell fairly well they're a little chewed on though so but i'll just put them out cheaper than normal and they should go had to buy a bunch of other junk with it. Unfortunately, uh, I had gotten some, an old door, actually two old doors, some uh, uh, closet doors and such, which I won't bother showing you, but there's some more of the garbage. So yeah, I'll have to go to the dump, but uh, some more garbage that I have to take to the dump that I have to, happen to have to take. But I also bought an ESO can, which I mainly bought because it was in a lot with this Anglo grease pail, which I'll sell. Anglo was a local company and uh, their stuff is desirable on the uh, petroleum collector's market here in Canada. And also got a ton of crates, got a whole whack of them. I don't know, a ton of fruit crates, apple, pears, etc. So some orange crates, so I'll do fine on those. And next, I also got another crate uh, from Nomgren Implements Manufacturing in St. Boniface, Manitoba, which is now part of Winnipeg. And also got some pieces of Widow's Walk. Unfortunately, this one's broken here. Uh, they've been snapped off of the Widow's Walk panels but this one is sort of complete um, it's kind of cool as you can see I think I might mount it in a piece of weathered wood or something just so it stands straight up kind of as a uh, piece of uh, art or sculpture and uh, a couple license plates I got for a couple bucks are pretty rough but I wanted a 57 tag and then a primitive bench, a little primitive bench, which was cool. It should sell fairly quick, I would think. And that's about it. So yeah, spent four hours out, uh, got some stuff. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.